When I was a young, undiagnosed autistic child, I spent a lot of time at my grandmother's house recuperating. Why did a kid in middle school need so much time recovering? Because when I was in middle school, I spent most of my time being laughed at, singled out, ignored, or flat out bullied by almost everyone who came into contact with me. But even in the safety of my grandmother's house, I spent a lot of time wondering what it was about me that made people treat me the way they did. One day, I remember sitting in front of the TV and seeing a new documentary on the TV guide. The name caught my eye, and since it was just coming on, I decided to watch it. This documentary talked about a surreal phenomenon that made humanoid objects that imperfectly resembled actual human beings provoke feelings of uneasiness and revulsion in observers. It went on to show various robots, traditional special effects like stop motion, and different computer-generated graphics, which were in their early stages at that time. It then went on to explain how appearing human-like, but looking and acting slightly off, caused human observers to feel negative emotions like fear, disgust, annoyance, and anger. All of the emotions people often felt towards me were just existing. Suddenly, I couldn't breathe as a rush of fearful realization paralyzed my body. Memories of countless people calling me robotic, telling me there was something alien about me, and even people telling me I make them uncomfortable or creep them out. Could this be it, I thought to myself? Could this be why people treat me the way they do? A million questions raced through my mind as I became consumed by the weight of this realization. As I stared at the TV screen, everything suddenly made sense. And as the documentary continued, I found myself terrified to learn more. I found myself stuck in the uncanny valley.